So far we've opened up Anki and we've created some sub decks and decks uh, in which we can put our cards. And we'll shortly move on to uh, how you go about making cards and adding them to decks. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you a, another view that is available in Anki. And that's called the browse view. So if we have a look at the top of our screen, uh, we're currently in what's called the decks view. Makes sense. Um, but we can also go into a view called Browse. It'll actually open up another window, so the Dex uh, window will still be open. <clears throat> and that allows us to have a look at all of the cards that we have stored in Anki. So I'm going to open that view now. Okay, so we've got that other window. The first thing to notice is along the side, uh, you have a whole range of different selectors. So the selectors along the top um, first your whole collection so that if I click on that it's going to present me in this blank space here with all of the cards I have stored in Anki so I've got a list of all of the cards if I click on a specific card then it's going to show me some of the details of that card as well so it's going to show me what's on the front of that card which is what you presented with first when you're studying and also what's on the back of that card which is essentially the answer that you'll be shown once you um, click show answer on the study uh, part of Anki. But we can view our cards in a number of different subsets. So we can look at only those cards that were added today, uh, those cards that we studied today, and so on. So there are a, a list of selectors related to the attributes of a given card. Further down in the list you'll see that there are selectors based on all of the decks that you have in your deck list. So we created semester 1 and subdeck 1 in an earlier clip. Uh, we haven't got any cards in those yet though. So if I click on semester 1 it's going to show me all of the cards under the semester 1 deck, which is none. I've got a tutorial deck which has a number of cards which I'm in the process of making at the moment. And further down even still, we have what's called card type selectors. Now we'll talk about card types in a couple of clips time. Uh, but if I click on basic, it's essentially going to show me actually A and U basic. It's going to show me all of the cards of a particular type. And even further down still, the most useful part, I think, uh, of the selection list is the tag list. So for a given card, let's say factors in global sea rise, we can allocate a number of tags. And I'll spend a clip talking about tags. And so you can see for this card along the bottom here, I have three tags. What that means is that card can show up in those topics. So if I select B3, that card will show up in the subset relating to B3. If I select top pop health, that card will show up along with all the other cards that have been given that tag. So that's a really useful way to have one card actually come up in multiple categories, which I know a lot of people want to be able to do. And because you can create decks later on that actually are filtered to a particular tag, it means you have a, a, a lot of flexibility in how you organize your cards. You see these card uh, tags down the right at the bottom of uh, my screen um, look just like a bunch of IDs, and that's because they are. Uh, when I'm making cards, I make them per lecture, and these just have an ID per lecture, which I can then use to select down cards to a given lecture. Let's say I'm going back to study a particular lecture on immunology. It's the third one in the first block then I can select that and I have all the cards from that particular lecture that I can look at and alter or ultimately study. So that's the browse view in Hanky. You have a wide range of different subsets that you can view your cards by. Uh, and in the next clip, we'll look at how you can change this view here so that it presents you with different fields relating to your cards. See you then.